gets what he wanted. Seven, six. Goals. Seven, six. And speak Novak Djokovic ended his 16-year-long wait to win a gold medal at Paris Olympics 2024 in what he called probably the biggest sporting success. Watch this video till the end to know what it takes to be the greatest of all time. You know, I was saying that representing my country has been always the greatest priority and honor for me, whether it's Olympic Games or Davis Cup or any, anywhere that I can <clears throat> carry proudly the Serbian flag uh, is something that, that really drives me and motivates me like nothing else. Um, and the fact that I won the bronze in the first Olympic Games and ever since then failed to, to win the medal and, you know, played three out of four Olympic Games in semifinals and couldn't overcome that obstacle. And then now at age 37, you know, with a uh, 21-year-old that is probably the best player in the world right now, winning Roland Garros and Wimbledon back-to-back -back and playing incredible tennis. Uh, just when, when I take everything in consideration, this probably is the biggest sporting success I've, I've ever had in my career. Well, uh, you know, this year has been a, a little bit strange for me, obviously not, not winning a title after many years of at least winning one title up to the, the kind of mid-season section of the calendar. Um, and But, you know, I was saying that, roller, that uh, Grand Slams and Olympic Games are the, the biggest goal for this season and particularly Olympic Games, uh, knowing that could be my, my last chance and my last swing at the uh, gold medal. Um, so I, I did everything I possibly can to uh, prepare myself for this period of Roland Garros Wimbledon and Olympic Games in the best possible way to, to raise form when it needs to be raised and uh, yeah, basically be at the peak of my abilities. Um, then, you know, obviously the injury that occurred here in Roland Garros um, sidetracked me a little bit, but you know I still managed to to play Wimbledon and wasn't maybe expecting so much from from that tournament, but I played finals, which was a big success. Um, I was dominated in the finals uh, by by Alcaraz, who was a far better player. But then coming into these Olympic Games, I said that I'm I feel like I'm a different player comparing to. Uh, the player I was in Wimbledon. When I qualified for the finals, I felt a big relief because that's the hurdle I wasn't able to surpass in the past. And I did celebrate like I won the tournament, but you know, I, of course I wanted gold. And I, know, I knew that it's going to take the highest mountain to climb at the moment, probably the highest one, playing Alcaraz, who is in incredible form. Um, I think the fact that I lost as easy as I did against him in the finals of Wimbledon actually kind of worked in my favor because I knew that I could not probably do worse than that the way I, the way I played uh, and the way I felt against him on the court so so I knew that it's going to be a different match I just felt it yes and no I mean yes it's complete because I completed you know all the achievements with his gold medal but no because you know, I love this sport. I don't play it only for to win the tournament, you know. I play it because I really love competition. I love the drive every day, every week of training my body, perfecting my game, improving myself still at this age. I just, this sport has given me so much in my life. I mean, and my, uh, I mean, I try to give back to the sport with dedication, primarily and the sacrifice that I put on the court every single day when nobody's watching. And I, I do it as hard as any young player out there on the world right now, I, I promise you that. I do it as hard, maybe even harder than anybody else. And so these kind of successes are not coincidences, you know, they come as a result of incredible effort uh, from my side and of course people who are around me, so, so yeah. I don't know about the future, to be honest. Uh, I really want to be in the present moment, celebrate. You know, worked very hard, sacrificed a lot to be in this moment. It was a long journey. 
many, many years of dreaming to be holding the gold medal. So now it's about happiness, joy and celebration. I would just like to, to finish off um, um, by, by commenting something about Greece and Serbia. And, you know, we are relatively two small countries that uh, don't really have a tennis tradition. Uh, you know, we didn't have too many players to look up to, uh, players that have reached these heights in a professional uh, tennis. Um, so I think that uh, the message really for any young tennis player around the world who is watching this now and dreaming to be here where Stefanes and I am, uh, dream big, dare to dream because everything is possible. Don't let anybody take away the dream. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where you're coming from. Um, I actually think that the more disadvantaged childhood you have, uh, the more difficulties and more challenges you have, the stronger you become. So Stefanos and I are the proof of that. And. Um, don't really let anybody take away that dream from you. Uh, nurture it, water it like you water the flowers. Even if you find only one person in this world that will, that will accept, embrace and support your dreams, find that person and dream big because you can make it. What a journey it has been for my family, my team and myself. Uh, I don't know where to start and where to finish. Um, I don't take anything for granted. I know you guys are tolerating uh, sometimes the worst sides of my character um, on and off the court. And, um, and I appreciate the, the patience and the love and support that you guys are giving me. Hvala puno, hvala. Thank you. Every single player uh, dreams of being in this stage and winning the trophy at least once in their career. I am beyond uh, fortunate in my life to, to win 23 times Grand Slams. Uh, it's, it's an incredible, <laughs> incredible feeling. I mean, um, I, I would like to use the moment. I mean, I, I've been talking too much. I know, I know, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I would say a few more things, please. Uh, my, my, my kids are here and I always try to, I always try to convey some, uh, some values, some messages, something that uh, they can learn from, something that, I don't know, they can uh, draw some, uh, some inspiration, you know, and I really hope, judging by their smile, I, I think they're enjoying it. And I, I would just like to send a message to every young person out there, whatever you're pursuing in the world, whether it's tennis, sports or any, anything else, you know, I, I was a seven-year-old dreaming that uh, I could win Wimbledon and become number one in the world one day. Uh, as I said, I'm beyond grateful and blessed to, to be standing here with so many incredible achievements. But uh, one thing is for sure, um, I feel that I, have, I had the power to create my own destiny. I try to visualize every single thing in my life, uh, not only believe it, but really feel it with every every cell in my body and I just want to send a message out there to every young person be in the present moment forget about what happened in the past future is something that is just going to happen but if you want a better future you create it take the means in your hands believe it create it Novak Djokovic known as the Joker of the tennis world has already achieved numerous accolades and titles in his illustrious career from Grand Slam victories to becoming the world number one, Djokovic has proven time and time again that he is a force to be reckoned with on the court. However, there is one title that has eluded him so far, an Olympic gold medal. Djokovic was more determined than ever to conquer the Paris Olympic Games in 2024. He was ready to take on the world's best players and bring home the coveted gold medal. 
Djokovic's relentless pursuit of excellence is truly inspiring, and his never-say-die attitude is what sets him apart from the rest. Djokovic has been hitting the courts day in and day out, honing his skills, perfecting his technique, and pushing himself to the limit. His training regimen is nothing short of intense, as he strives to be in peak physical and mental condition for the challenges that lie ahead. Djokovic's passion for the game is unparalleled, and his dedication to his craft is what makes him a true champion. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, stay inspired, stay inspiligent, and keep chasing your dreams like Novak Djokovic.